Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. Police officers are searching for a man who they say shot and killed the mother of his child. Authorities say this all happened at her workplace. TV 20's Taylor Bird joins us live from Williston. Taylor, when were officers notified? Myra, Williston police officers were called to Monterey Boats this morning at 5 a.m. Employees called 911 about the victim who was shot at her workplace. Officers are looking for the suspect, Jonathan Sager, who they say shot and killed the victim. They say he fired multiple shots and then ran off. EMS crews attended attempted life-saving skills, but the woman was pronounced dead. According to Police Chief Mike Rolls, Sager and the victim were previously in a relationship. We're currently looking for the suspect now. Uh, I do have his name. Uh, his name is Jonathan Sager. Uh, he's a white male. He was born 610 of 92. Uh, from what I'm being told, he doesn't have a current address. So the investigators are currently working to find out more information about him and see if we can find a location on him. Officers believe the suspect may no longer be in Levy County. They also say no other employees were injured. In Williston, Taylor Burr, TV20 News about that suspect killed during a standoff after shooting and killing the mother of his child yesterday. Duala County Sheriff's deputies say in Georgia they pursued 31-year-old Jonathan Seeger after suing his vehicle west of Unadilla. Seeger fired multiple shots at deputies, but then he crashed. Deputies say they heard a gunshot inside his vehicle and found Seeger dead inside. He was wanted for premeditated murder after killing 30-year-old Ariel Griffin on Monday morning. A prayer vigil is happening this week for Ariel Griffin. The service will be Thursday at the church grounds of the First Baptist Church on South Court Street in Bronson. The event organizers ask for guests to bring their own lawn chair. story in Levy County tonight. A manhunt is underway after a deadly shooting at a boat factory in Williston this morning resulted in the death of a mother of two. Authorities are looking for the suspected gunman, 31-year-old Jonathan Sager, who they believe has left the county. Officers have issued a warrant for premeditated murder against the victim. TV20's Taylor Burr spoke with family members who say Sager threatened the victim before the shooting. I'm feeling very sad and about my mom because I very miss her and I, I wish she was here. Family members have identified the victim as 30-year-old Ariel Griffin. She was the mother of two. According to the Williston Police Department, Jonathan Sager shot Griffin, who was the father of her youngest child at Monterey Boats on North Main Street. Levy County Sheriff deputies say this weekend they had responded to two domestic disputes involving Sager and Griffin. Um, she was afraid to go home because he had made threats yesterday not to go home, not to have your daughter there because it was going to be bad. 
He premeditatedly <laughs> planned to kill her. The victim's family says Griffin tried to call law enforcement regarding Sager. It's been an ongoing thing over the weekend. Levy County was notified yesterday when he went into her house yesterday morning with a knife. He was seen coming into my neighborhood yesterday. We contacted the police department, told them that he was in our neighborhood. Officials with Levy County Sheriff's Office say a warrant for Sager's arrest was issued on Sunday after he entered Griffin's home and assaulted her new boyfriend. In a statement, LCSO deputies say they tried to find Sager to arrest him, but they could not locate him before the shooting. Sager was seen leaving the area in a Chevrolet pickup truck. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.